ever just get like totally rained out. You know what I mean? Like yeah. completely drenched. Right after you check the forecast and it said like partly cloudy, slight chance of drizzle. Happens to the best of us. Right. But now imagine that frustration, but it's not just a soggy picnic. It's your entire business on the line. And the stakes are, well, let's just say the stakes are a lot higher. Yeah. You're talking about real money on the table. When an unexpected frost or a sudden downpour can wipe out an entire season's worth of crops, it's a different ballgame altogether. Totally. And a good reminder that some businesses are way more exposed to the whims of Mother Nature than others. Absolutely. The thing is, with climate change, those whims are getting a lot more extreme, more frequent, yeah. more intense. And harder to predict. Right. Exactly. We're seeing it already. Those once-in-a-century storms, yeah. they're starting to feel a lot more frequent. Which is a perfect segue to the story we're diving into today, the story of CHS Inc. <laughs> CHS? Yeah. They're a Fortune 100 company, actually. The largest farmer-owned cooperative in the entire U.S. Wow, that's a lot of farms. Right. So we're not just talking about a few fields here. They've got farms, processing facilities, transportation networks, the whole shebang. Talk about a logistical challenge. Oh, absolutely. Because they need to keep that entire system running smoothly no matter what's happening with the weather. Which I'm guessing is no easy feat. Not even a little bit. Yeah. And to make things even harder, they're dealing with the same unpredictable weather patterns we all are, but on a massive scale. I can see how that would get complicated. Right? Oh, yeah. Think about it. One region gets hit with a late frost. Another gets slammed by unexpected rain. Suddenly you've got delays, disruptions, and a whole lot of unhappy customers. And... I bet for a long time, they are pretty much at the mercy of those frustratingly vague weather forecasts. You mean the ones that say 30% chance of precipitation? Like, <laughs> thanks a lot. Now I need a degree in statistics just to plan my day. Right. And when you're trying to manage a national supply chain, those kinds of forecasts just don't cut it. Talk about flying blind. Exactly. And hoping for the best. It's like trying, yeah, trying to conduct an orchestra. But only half the musicians have the sheet music. Ouch. And speaking of hitting the wrong note, the CHS case study really gets into how much these weather problems were actually costing them. Oh, yeah. These weren't just minor inconveniences. We're talking about real disruptions to their bottom line. So, like, what kind of disruptions are we talking about? Well, they gave a couple examples in the case study Hurricane Ida back in 2021. That was a big one. <laughs> yeah, that was a nasty storm. It really slammed into the Gulf Coast. And CHS had some really important facilities right there in the thick of it. Oh, I bet. Didn't they also get hit with those crazy snowstorms in Minnesota that same year? That's right. Talk about adding insult to injury. So you've got a hurricane on one side of the country and record snowfalls on the other. I'd say that qualifies as extreme weather. It definitely kept them on their toes. The oh. case study talked about how transportation just ground to a halt. Facilities had to shut down unexpectedly. And I'm guessing that didn't go over too well with the folks waiting for their deliveries. You're telling me. Yeah. It really highlighted how vulnerable even a giant company like CHS could be to those kinds of weather events. Yeah. You can't exactly reschedule a hurricane. Nope. And even when it wasn't a full-blown natural disaster, yeah. just those everyday weather variations could throw a real wrench in their plans. Okay. So the old way of doing things wasn't working. It was clearly time for an upgrade. And that's where Tomorrow.io comes in. Cue the dramatic music. Right. But seriously, this is where things get interesting. Because Tomorrow.io isn't just some weather app you check on your phone. This is the big leagues. This is next level stuff. We're talking about AI-powered weather intelligence specifically designed for businesses like CHS. Okay. So how does that actually work? How do they make their forecasts so much better than what we're used to? Well, for starters, they've got their own network of weather stations. But it's more than that. They've also found ways to tap into these huge, massive amounts of data that didn't used to be available. Like what kind of data? Well, think about it. We've got satellites constantly orbiting the Earth, right? Tomorrow.io takes all those images and they use AI to analyze them in real time. So instead of just seeing clouds, they can actually see what's happening inside the clouds. In a way, yeah. They can track storm patterns with incredible precision. Mm -hmm. And because they're constantly gathering new information, their forecasts are always updating, always getting more accurate. That's wild. And it gets even more impressive than that because they don't just look at the big picture stuff. They also factor in what they call hyperlocal observations. Hyperlocal. Hyperlocal. That sounds intense. It basically means they're getting data on a much, much smaller scale than traditional weather stations. So instead of saying it might rain in your state, they yeah. can tell you if it's going to rain on your block. Basically. 
They've got all these sensors and things spread out everywhere, measuring everything from wind speed and temperature to things like soil moisture. Soil moisture, why is that important? Especially for agriculture. It's crucial. The amount of moisture in the soil can make or break a crop. And traditional forecasts, they just don't take that kind of detail into account. So Tomorrow.io can look at a specific field and predict how much rain it's going to get a week from now. Sometimes even further out than that. Yeah. But here's where it gets really interesting. They don't just give you a weather report. They take all that data and use AI to predict how it's going to impact your business. Give me an example. So let's say CHS has a shipment of grain that needs to get from point A to point B. Tomorrow.io can look at the route analyze the weather conditions, and tell them the optimal time to move that shipment. So they avoid any potential delays. Exactly. Or let's say there's a risk of flooding near one of their processing plants. Tomorrow.io can give them a heads up days in advance so they can take steps to protect their equipment. So they're not just reacting to whatever Mother Nature throws at them. They're actually one step ahead. Precisely. And that's a game changer for a company like CHS. So instead of just getting a weather report, CHS is getting like a personalized game plan. Exactly. It's like having a secret weapon against Mother Nature. Okay, that's a good way to put it. So tell me more about this secret weapon. How does it actually play out in the real world? We'll take a look at Adam Leclerc. He's their senior director of global supply chain. And in the case study, he talks about how they use Tomorrow.io for all sorts of things. Like, for instance, let's say they've got a shipment of grain that needs to get across the country. Okay. Tomorrow.io can analyze the weather patterns along the route, mm. identify any potential problems, like maybe there's a risk of flooding on one of the rail lines they normally use. And then what? Well, knowing that ahead of time, CHS can reroute the shipment, send it a different way, maybe even hold it for a day or two until the weather clears. So no more frantic last minute calls trying to figure out why the delivery is late. Exactly. And that kind of proactive planning, it saves them a ton of money in the long run. I bet. Not to mention the headaches. Oh, I'm sure there are plenty of those. Yeah. But it goes beyond just logistics, too. Leclerc talked about how they use this weather intelligence to actually improve their customer service. Interesting. How so? So remember how we were talking about those dynamic ETAs? Yeah, like instead of just giving a customer a delivery window, you can tell them exactly when to expect their shipment. Precisely. So even if there's a blizzard bearing down on the East Coast, CHS can say, don't worry, we factored that in. Your delivery is still on track. Wow, that's impressive. And I bet it makes a huge difference for their customers, especially in an industry like agriculture where timing is everything. Absolutely. When you can deliver that kind of reliability, even in the face of some pretty crazy weather, yeah, it builds a lot of trust. It's one thing to make promises. It's another thing entirely to keep them when the going gets tough. Couldn't say it better myself. Now, so we've covered a lot of ground here today, from soggy picnics to rerouting freight trains with the power of AI. What's the big takeaway? What do you hope our listeners will remember from this deep dive? For me, it all comes down to this idea of resilience. The world is changing faster than ever. The climate is changing. And the businesses that thrive in that kind of environment, they're the ones that can adapt quickly. Yeah. And AI is giving them the tools to do just that. It's not just about reacting to the unexpected anymore. It's about anticipating it, getting ahead of it, yeah. and maybe even using it to your advantage. And that's a powerful idea no matter what business you're in. Absolutely. So for anyone listening who wants to learn more about how CHS made this all happen, we'll be sure to link to the full case study in the show notes. Until next time, stay curious.